1942, D. Jefferson Nickel was repunched mint mark D over D. Graded in mint state 65 by PCGS, these well struck gem boasts a lovely champagne rose luster, a very nice piece and well preserved issue that is rare even in lower mint state grades. Important find for the advanced Jefferson Nickel collector, this one ended up selling for $8,050. A 1969 Lincoln scent, but just an ordinary superb gem example with no doubling elements on obverse, graded in mean state 67 by PCGS. Surfaces are free from blemishes or toning. Only large distraction is the slanting mark on the head of the president. This penny displays vibrant mint luster, and eye appeal is very pleasing. It was sold for $3,000.38 with buyer's fee. Here is 1953 Lincoln scent struck on a silver 10 cent planchet. Graded in mid state 64 by PCGS. According to legend rare coin auctions, brilliant silver luster shines boldly on both sides. The slightly smaller planchet cuts off only tiny portions on the legend on both sides. Generally well struck, although there is a touch of weakness in spots where there was not enough metal to fill the dice. An interesting error that's more often seen on later dates. Some light scuffs are noted that account for a side grade if viewed closely. It was sold for $2,702.50. 1959 D. Washington Quarter with multicolored toning. Graded in mean state 67 plus by PCGS and proven by CEC. Exceptionally vivid multicolored toning enhances virtually pristine surfaces on both sides of this captivating superb gem. Like its identically dated Philadelphia mint counterparts, the 1959 D is surprisingly scarce in the finest mint state grades. For a late date, 90% Washington quarter was mintage of 62 million, 54,232 coins. This highly soft after gem was sold for $9,600. This is 1909 Morgan dollar. In PR67 condition, this boldly and vividly toned beauty displays a blend of antique copper, steely grey, pale gold, powder blue, reddish apricot, and salmon pink patina. The finish is strongly reflective, as the overall striking detail is razor sharp. The surfaces are smooth for the assigned grade and very close to pristine. The 1901 Morgan dollar, the first silver dollar coinage of 20th century, had a proof mintage of 813 pieces, though some of that production run has no doubt succumbed to the march of time. The present specimen is high in the rankings for survivors of this issue, what with its rare superb gem grade. It was sold for $18,000. Bicentennial coin 1976 S. Kennedy half dollar in mid state 69. According to Heritage, the nation's bicentennial celebration was widely celebrated at the time, and, and the special reverse designs for the quarter half dollar and dollar were created to mark the occasion. The coins all show the dual 1776-1976 date on obverse. The half dollar reverse with Independence Hall as a centerpiece was designed by Seth G. Huntington. In addition to regular issue clad coinage, 11 million silver clad uncirculated specimens were struck and offered in sets, and 4 million silver clad proofs were struck for collectors. This magnificent silver clad MS69 specimen exhibits sharply detailed design elements throughout, and virtually flawless surfaces are lustrous and appealing. It was sold for $9,600. Extremely rare 1983 Lincoln scent struck on a copper planchet, originally toned in light grey brown. Both sides do reveal flickers of original faded rose luster. In the protected areas around and among the devices, as the surfaces dip into a light, sharply struck with few outwardly noticeable blemishes, this pleasing mint state example is sure to excite advanced Lincoln scent and US mint error specialists. There are only a handful of these known and had to have been created by a leftover copper planchet that were stuck in the planchet bin at the mint, but in the mid-1982 and somehow remained stuck until the year 1983 came around and were fed into the coining press as normal planchets. This MS62 brown gem was sold for $22,325. This is 1964 SMS Lincoln sent in MS65 red condition. Numismatists love a good mystery, and the 1964 SMS sets certainly provide one. The sets first appeared publicly in Stax auctions in the early 90s. The prevailing view is that they originated in the estate of former mint director Eva Adams.
and were bought by coin dealer Lester Merkin. Like all of the 1964 SMS coins, the present Lincoln Center displays a razor-sharp strike with high squared off rims and heavy haphazard die polishing. Here more prominent on the obverse, the color is brick red with a couple of brown flecks appearing under a loop and some magenta on the high points. It was sold for $11,400. Here is 1993 Memorial Penny in MS68 plus red condition. A 1993 Lincoln Memorial Cent graded as MS68 Plus Red is indeed a high quality coin. A coin graded as MS68 Plus Red is in exceptional condition, nearly free of any noticeable imperfections. Such high grade coins are relatively rare because they have survived in an uncirculated state, preserving their original mint luster and surface quality. This scarce specimen was sold for $1184.62 with buyer's fee. Here is 1976 S Bicentennial Silver Quarter in MS69 condition. This superb gem is in the threshold of numismatic perfection. According to NGC Price Guide, as of August 2023, a Washington Quarter from 1976 S in circulated condition is worth between $2.30 and $3.40. However, on the open market, Bicentennial S silver quarters in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $10,000. This MS69 quarter was sold for $7,368.75 with buyer's fee. 1976 DA Eisenhower dollar with type 1 reverse. Graded in mean state 67 by PCGS. One of the very finest known dollars from this mintage of 21.04 million coins. The overall preservation is exceptional, especially for accenting the silky and satiny luster throughout. Boldly defined and showing traces of dye polishing around the worst devices. The Type 1 features large flat letters, while the Type 2, as here, features thinner, more angular letters than before. As with many of the Eisenhower dollars. The 1976D was not particularly well made as a whole, especially those intended for circulation and was prone to damage. This MS67 superb gem was bargained for $9,600. And this is 1918 Lincoln Cent in MS68 red condition. This virtually flawless example really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated. Silky smooth surfaces exhibit vivid mint color of beautiful pinkish red. The striking detail is razor sharp to full throughout the design, and eye appeal is extraordinary. While there is no denying that the 1918 is one of the more plentiful early date Lincoln scents, high quality mint state examples are scarcer than those of 1916 and 1919. Near the pinnacle of numismatic preservation and quality, this red ultra gem is one of the utmost condition rarity. It ended up selling for $55,200. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on fascinating world of numismatics. Have a good one.